Hello and welcome to my weekend Cotswold biking expedition. Um, I'm currently at London um, Paddington Station about to jump on the train to Hanborough um, and then cycle my way around the Cotswolds for two days which I'm super excited about. Um, I've had a slight hiccup already this morning. Um, I went to take my bike out the shed and <laughs> so I've had a bit of a mess starting out. Um, my life would get my first puncture just before going away for a weekend on my bike. So I'm figuring that out. <laughs> Yay. So I frantically uh, fixed my puncture for the first time ever, which I've never had a flat, so um, that was a fun time. I missed my train, but there's another one um, coming which I'm currently waiting for. Can't wait to go. Heading my way around to Stowenwold, which is um, where I'll be staying the night, um, and then um, down through some more villages tomorrow. It should be good. Alright, I've had quite a morning. I'm now at Marleybin Station, um, waiting for a train to Oxford. Um, so I didn't catch my first train, uh, tried to catch the second one, couldn't get the bike on. Um, about to catch the third one um, and then all the services from Paddington got stopped. Um, so I quickly jumped my bike, booked another ticket, fingers crossed this works. I just want to get to the Cotswolds, that's all I want. Right, so on the bike finally, I uh, made it to Oxford on the train, um, which is unfortunately um, about a 50 minute ride away from where I was even meant to be starting um, today's ride. So not entirely gone to plan, um, but I'm on my way. I'm almost at the actual route which um, I'm following today. It's from the Lost Lanes book by Jack Kirsten. Um, so hopefully uh, the rest of the journey is a bit smoother. But yeah, good to be out of London. Never get over the cuteness of English BNBs. <laughs> Look at that. So there we are in the stow. So yeah, I just uh, got to the bed and breakfast um, and checked in. It's um, almost going on six o'clock now, um, and <laughs> that was a long ride. <laughs> I was going to go through a few more small villages on the way here, um, and, you know, along the route um, from the Lost Lanes book. But I kind of did half of that, and given my uh, late start this morning because of the trains, um, I th didn't actually know if I was going to make it to the B and B um, by night. <laughs> so I kind of, um, I kind of took a little bit of a shortcut. Uh, I still rode about fifty k's today, so it wasn't much of a shortcut. Took myself through the countryside instead. So a lovely ride. I'm sorry I didn't take much, um, you know, footage along the way, but I was kind of in a state of, let's just get there. I am exhausted. Um, it wasn't quite the nice chilled bike ride day which I was anticipating but I shall do that tomorrow. Um, for such a night just a nice uh, big dinner I think and early to bed um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna soak up all the English countryside and cute villages that I can um, and another 50 k's to go. Right, the sun's up and it is a gorgeous morning here in Stow in the Wold. Um, I've just finished stuffing my face for all of the breakfast at the B&B, which is just behind me here. And I'm gonna have a little bit of a morning walk around the town, um, which is lovely and quiet, uh, but I guess it is a Sunday morning. Um, so yeah, Stow in the Wold. So this is Market Square. Oh, 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 oh,
So I'm sitting here by the uh, Market Cross. Um, Stowe was a um, beautiful old uh, market town originally um, and has quite a history as well because I didn't have any history facts yesterday because I was a little bit too stressed about um, getting here. <laughs> I thought I'd hit you with them this morning. Um, so um, this town has obviously been around for hundreds and hundreds of years um, and back in the mid 1600s during the first um, English Civil War there was actually a battle um, of Stowe and the Wold um, which seems really weird given this beautiful old um, peaceful village that it is now um, but the actual battle um, took place about a mile north of the village um, and continued to be fought um, by running battle all the way into the square which is literally right where I'm sitting now um, and um, until the um, royalists finally surrendered right here in the square and it said that the streets ran with blood and it was a very brutal battle and a very important battle um, but that is a far cry from this gorgeous quiet sleepy village that we uh, see here today. It's so cute! It is so cute! This here is uh, St. Edward's Church and it's beautiful and old and people have been uh, congregating here for over a thousand years which is pretty special and the church itself has elements built in the 12th century which is just amazing. little history fact to stow. Look at this! It's the old stocks. <laughs> right, so back on the bike and leaving stow and on my way to the next cute village. <laughs> So I just stopped here in Boughton on the Water um, to have a brownie on the water. Yeah, I know. Um, it's gorgeous. What can I say? But it's. I, I don't think I'll ever get tired of these beautiful little villages. It's just so, so gorgeous. It's just uh, cycling um, through the countryside, as you see. Um, I'm halfway between ooh, Sherbourne and Burford, I think. I could have made that up um, and about 30 k's to go I think so we're getting there I've just stopped for my last little um, water and food break before um, the last little leg um, back to the station. I've got about 4 k's left to go so uh, it's starting to feel a little bit tired but um, <laughs> pretty good effort I think. I really loved this weekend, well particularly today. Yesterday was a bit of a mess. Um, 
but in a weird way I think that yesterday's kind of train debacle made me almost appreciate today a little bit more. Um, I think if you're someone like me who tends to um, overthink and overplan things, um, when something throws your plan off, it, it kind of throws you off as well, um, which it definitely did yesterday, and, and that's okay. So it was kind of a, a process of letting yesterday be a little bit imperfect, but still getting on with it. And uh, and I made it to Stowe and such a beautiful ride today with um, actually some pretty lovely weather too. Can't complain, and yeah, get to the Cotswolds, gorgeous. I'm gonna jump back on my bike, um, hopefully get to the station, um, and hopefully have less of a train debacle than yesterday, touch wood, and then probably go to sleep very, very well tonight. <laughs>